More and more people travelled on the Fat Controller's Railway. More and more ships came to the harbours. Everyone had to work very hard indeed. The trucks complained bitterly. But then trucks always do, and no one takes much notice. The coaches complained too. No sooner had they arrived with one train, than they had to go out again with fresh passengers as another. We don't know whether we're coming or going, they protested. We feel quite distracted. No one can say, grumbled Henry, that we're afraid of hard work, but we draw the line at goods trains, finished Gordon. Dirty trucks, dirty sidings, ugh, put in James. What are you boiler aching about? asked Duck. I remember on the Great Western, that tin pot railway. Tin pot indeed. Let me tell you. Silence, ordered a well-known voice. Let me tell you that an engine for goods work will arrive from Scotland tomorrow. The news was received with acclamation. The two engines greeted him cheerfully. I hear you've lost your numbers, he said. How did that happen? The mourners slowly slip it off, sir. You can know it is. The engine spoke in chorus. I know. Accidentally on purpose. The twins looked pained. Sir, you wouldn't be thinking we lost them on purpose. I'm not so sure, said the fat controller. Now then, which of you is 57646? Oh, that, sir, is just what we can mind. The fat controller looked at their solemn faces. What are your names? Donald and Dougie, sir. Inspector, he ordered, give these engines numbers and set them to work.